may be right. Let's feel it out over lunch. Feel yourself out over lunch. I've got plans. Nine months ago, world champ Oscar Morado vanished without a trace. Everybody figured his coach, Delio Sanchez, had something to do with it. But the cops couldn't find a thing. Nonetheless, Delio's reputation took a hit. He lost his gym. His fight is dropped. No one would go near the guy. Cut to today. I'm reading a blurb on an up-and-coming fighter, and guess who's in the photo? Delio. I don't know how I caught it, but I caught it. So I went down to where this fighter was training, and there he was, in the flesh. Ready for the title? Comeback coach Delio Sanchez finds new life in a young rookie. Marjorie Adams, I'm Michael Torn, wormhole chaser. Something very big is about to happen in your apartment. Can I come in? Now, according to the logarithmic map of the universe, the poles are aligned. If we trace the effects, you'll notice a strong magnetic field over Southern California generating outward from your apartment. Here, let me give a nice view for that. It's hot. Bill and Betty Gulch, Rocky, Iowa. Pleased to meet you. Thank you so much for hosting. <laughs> I love this building. The aura, it's amazing. Are you marching? We've got a Warner Bill. Yeah, absolutely. We got to. Oh, Marjorie. Now, I want you to be careful. Georgetown has a unique philosophy and approach to education. We are committed to the common good, and we try to instill that value in our students. One of the ways I see our Jesuit heritage connecting with new technology such as virtual reality is that it creates the ability to walk in someone else's shoes. Helping students understand the role of a manager, what it's like to work on a factory line, what are the principal decisions that you have to face. This is all a version of walking in someone else's shoes. Globally competitive cotton industries. Sophie, show me. What if virtual reality would let us take these students on field trips of this kind without leaving the classroom? The key point is that in much of the world, cotton production is still very labor intensive. But in the United States, the value chain for this t-shirt starts in a very different way. All of this production is done with science and technology, and it's a marvelous thing to watch. Since 2006, Forward in Health, a grassroots nonprofit organization based in Gardner, Massachusetts, has been providing free, week long medical missions to the people of Haiti, an impoverished third world country where sickness and disease run rampant, and the infant mortality rate is 10 times that of the United States. So, c'est financier de toute façon. Nous manquons de ressources financières et puis. Because of my impatience, I've learned to be patient. 
Because I'm angry, I've learned to be gentle. Because I'm passionate, I've learned to be cold. You'll find out if you're ever in my shoes. Don't assume you won't be. Never assume. Anybody out here? Buddy, you out here? Mother? <laughs> <laughs> 